watch you guys never manually install Windows apps again. Microsoft have just released the multi-app install for Windows on the Microsoft Store. So we know how tedious it is of a process to manually install Windows apps, but this can be all eliminated. These methods I'm going to show you will streamline your setup, making significantly more efficient way of installing applications by selecting them and downloading them as a package and then installing them. And I'll show you three different methods on how all of this works. Now, this is a new feature from Microsoft and you can see it's broken down into categories and they will eventually add more applications to this. Now, as a quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. This video does not promote piracy and does not violate any copyright or break any community guidelines. Always do your own research and follow at your own risk. Today's video sponsor is CD Key Sales. Choose the product you want to use and buy Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order. Choose the change button and then paste in your key. Choose next and then click activate. And you've just now got rid of that annoying watermark and got a full version of Windows. So let's take a look at Microsoft's offering. So if you're still manually installing Windows apps in 2025, then you're out of touch. That's like using a dial-up internet connection in 2025. Stop wasting hours clicking next, next, finish to install applications on Windows. Here you'll be able to set up a new PC in minutes. It takes literally seconds to click all of the applications that you want to download as a package and it will go ahead and install these onto the system. Just select which applications you want. Now they're in nice and easy to follow categories now, there will be more added to this list. This is a very new uh, release from Microsoft. And as it grows, it will start to have more applications that you commonly use and install on your system. So imagine a world where setting up a new PC takes almost no effort, no endless downloading, no mind numbing uh, installations. It will take all of the hard work out of it. It's basically just check marking some of the apps that you want. It builds a list on the right hand side here. Click on the install selected. This will then download a small little tiny file. Once you click on this, it will go off and download all of the applications from their servers and install them. As a fully automated installation, you won't have to intervene. It will just take care of everything. Now, of course, this technology is nothing new. Uh, Nunite has been around for a very long time and I'll show you that in a second because it's exactly the same. So Microsoft have basically stolen the idea from Nunite. Uh, but as it grows, you're going to have more applications being able to silently download and install in the background in one click. So you would just basically go to a place like Nunite and you would highlight all of the applications that you want to download and automate and install onto your system. For instance, in the web browsers, I can click Chrome. In the security area, I can say click Malwarebytes. And of course, this list is not a full extensive list. It has been a bit restricted, but again, it just depends on which companies jump on board. With Microsoft, it might be an extensive list. So Discord, Dropbox, Spotify, VLC, we can go through and check mark some of the most common apps that you might install on your system. You've got all the .NET framework, you've got Java, you've got developer tools there, VC++, redistributions, and you've got all your imaging, documents, and other and utilities. So just check mark what you fancy to download and install. And all you need to do then is go down to the bottom of the page, and this will give you a little option where you can download uh, the installer. Now, I've already got a lot of these installed on the system, so I'm not going to go ahead and install them. But all you'd need to do here is get your Nunite right here. You can see it will download the little file, click on the installer, and it will go off and download these and install them silently on the system. This is all automated. You won't have to do anything, and it will basically take care of that for you. Win install is another probably go to I would say there's 10,350 plus packages and it's growing this is my go to rather than any of the other two options and I've made a video on this a long time ago but it has added more applications they do have a front end GUI here you can do this from the command prompt as well but you can see all you need to do is select all of your applications that you want to install 
If you want to see a more fully in-depth video on this, I can do this on a virtual machine and show you how to download and install all of these in one go. So all you'd need to do is select the apps you want. For instance, we've got OBS Studio and we can install Spotify right here. And it's important to read about where the file was coming from and what the source is because obviously we're downloading these off the internet. Now, the good thing about WinTools is it basically downloads all the apps in one go and it just doesn't just download them. It can also keep all the apps updated as well. So it can fully update all of the apps that you've downloaded and installed on your PC, which is another added bonus. You can search for your programs that you want as well. And this will take all the legwork out of trying to find the latest uh, program by searching for it on Google, going to the page, downloading that program itself, and then going through the setup phase where you're clicking next and agreeing to all their terms and conditions. You don't have to do any of that. This is silently installed in the background. It's an automated system and it works really well. Now you will need to select at least five applications to create a package right here. And you will need to sign in to be able to download that created package that you've just done. But don't worry, you can do it without signing in using the generator script. And again, you can choose whether you want to use the batch file, PowerShell or Winget import it's entirely up to you which way you go about doing it we're going to choose the batch file right here click on download.bat and then basically the batch file is now downloaded we can click on this one right here and we can click run and this will open up a little command prompt window and it will download uh, the applications right here now like i said if you're setting up new pcs every single day Downloading and installing applications this way is so much more faster. It's seamless. It really is. It just doesn't take any effort at all. You can copy this file over to another computer and run it, and it will download those applications. So once you set it up, once you don't have to go through the whole process every single time. But you can see right here, it's downloading and installing Spotify here. We've got Dropbox and a bunch of other ones. There's bigger applications here so they do take a while to download and install depending on the speed of your internet but i won't bore you to tears letting you watch the whole download and installing of applications but basically that's how it works it's super quick super efficient and super easy let me know in the comments section down below what method you use to download and install applications on your pc i'd be interested to read your comments I hope you all have a lovely weekend. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.